Haha, <laughs> caught it again. Okay. I honestly don't know how I'm going to edit this video. I might just leave everything in and do it real time all the way through. I may speed some of it up. I may cut some of it out. I honestly don't know. But. No, that doesn't look right. What's going on here? This bracket did not go down even. Like the other one I could tell was even. You can see where it's flush all the way around. It's touching. This one, I got a gap. So now I gotta find out why I got a gap. mount looks like it's perfectly fine the only thing is the hole is not the holes tight okay let's see if I can just use some screwing action here to get it down Nope, it's going to be mean to me. Okay, so what's causing it? Okay, I feel a burr. Let's use their little file thing that they sent us. Please work. I don't want to play with you for the rest of the day. Yes. Uh, no. Still a little gap. Yeah. I'm going to cheat on this sucker a little bit. I'll do something to get the get to look better later on that's good enough for me okay back to it no don't tell me this why couldn't I be smart Why? It feels good. I don't. F I still feel a burr right there and there. Now let's see if I can be smart this time and line my holes up while I'm squeezing it and pushing it and hammering it and everything else. Now that time it didn't even need to be hammered. Good. So it looks like the burr is taken off. And I'm still off a little bit. I'm going to take this thing that I have no clue what it is and just see if I can... Uh, see if that lined it up. Yes. Okay, so we got one screw going in. Let's see if we can get this other screw in. And then we'll take a look and see if it looks even. Once again, we're dealing with aluminum, so it's touchy as it can be. Yes, it's even. Good enough for me.
And you know what, while we're here, let's go ahead and get these put in place, huh? So why, okay, I see why. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and push this down and I'm just gonna do it till it's just almost even with the bottom of the of that base. As you can see, hopefully, there we go. I'm just gonna take it to right about there. Leave a little bit of a gap. And then we're gonna take See if that's the right size. No, it's not. See if that's the right size. Yes, it is. That screw goes against the flat portion of the stepper motor. That's just going to make sure it doesn't turn around on us. And it actually went down on me a little bit. Let me go ahead and get that back out. Get raised up there just a little bit. There we go. So now that sets the screw against that shaft so that it's not going to take and rotate on us. And then we're going to use the other, looks like it's back to the 2.5. Yeah. And this is what's going to tighten the coupler around the shaft so that it doesn't have a funny wiggle to it. Now it's made to wiggle a little bit. It's like a spring spiral, which is just fine. Okay, so that is good. Do the same thing to this other one. Set screw is going to go against that. Looks like somebody's tightened that up a little bit. Let's loosen that one. Now that one's loose. So it's going to be the other one. Nope. Okay, so why? Okay, it's slipping down now. I get that screw on that flat right about there. Okay, so that's against the flat. Now we're going to take, tighten the screw for the, to pinch it. There we go. Okay. And I'll bet you that's what these were for. Oh well. Okay. Now this is where we're going to take and we're going to run our wire through the bottom piece here. We're going to run our motor up here to it. Get all our wires through it safely. Put the motor mount through that piece. And I'm going to do the same thing to this other one. Once again, this, well, I don't know if I ever said before, this is the first 3D printer I've ever messed with. So there's a kind of a learning curve here. I'm sure if I did it in, as, in the future, it'd probably be super easy. And then again, maybe it wouldn't be, I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to take our number 21 screws and we're going to take pop those in there now see this seems like it's got a lot more a lot more threads going running into these plates so we'll see how that pans out. And that one's tight.
That one is getting tighter earlier than it's supposed to, but that's all right. It looks like I'm just about ready to hit the plate. Yeah, it's tight. Okay. And I don't know for sure, but I am personally going to run that harness, that whatever this is called, the tubing part of it, over the wires through that metal. I don't want those wires touching that metal. Okay, and that one's tight. And this is the reason why I wanted this frame over a um, acrylic frame. Aluminum is not brittle. It will not crack out when you tighten it up. And the way those other ones were set up, I just did not trust it. So I went and spent the extra, was it 50 bucks, 100 bucks maybe, depending on what auction you get on eBay. Just spent a little bit extra money and got the, the aluminum kit. Okay, so now we're going to separate our wires like that. <clears throat> Remember, this is your front. Your stepper motor is at the back. So now we're going to take and we're going to put through. And there is no way for me to really show you what's happening. But what's happening is I'm going to take and I'm going to open everything up here. This piece here is going to be in the front. This washer is going to be behind it. Same way on this other side. Okay. So now drop that into the groove in the base plate. Let's see how I can do this to where it can be seen. And there's really no way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it back down, get my screws, go over that real quick, and then we'll get that the rest of it sorted out here in a moment. Okay, so it looks like 21, number 21 screws. There we go. Need four of them, and we need four washers. So number 21, that's going to be the M3 by 16 millimeter screws. I have two washers from earlier. I'm going to pop two more out here. Now finally be rid of all the extra washers that they had me pull out. Okay. And when I can, I like to just put this washer up on the on the bolts so that it's all already set. Okay. Now the other thing that I'm wondering, I know the the way it's going to set up, the extruder is going to be about here. Say, I'm going to say even with these pieces here. No, probably not. It's probably because it's going to be out in front of it. So it's going to be sitting right about there. That can't, that's what I've been wondering about. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these bolts back. I'm sure that's an adjustment I'll have to do later, but I'd like to get it as close as I can now. Six. It's pretty close. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take these pieces here. That was another thing I really thought about. I really thought about putting those in first and then doing the belt and everything afterward, but I thought it was going to be a, too much of a headache. So what I'm going to try doing I think you can kind of see what I'm doing right here on camera. I'm trying to take these screws. I'm going to try feeding them through into this frame. 
and bolt it up. And it's not going to let me do it like that. So I can't get my hand in there enough to do it. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to turn it over. So let's go ahead and pinch that. And I know you're not going to be able to see this, and I apologize for it. But what I'm doing is I'm putting the first screw in up here at the top. Putting the second screw on the same bracket on this other hole. And the same thing on this bracket down here. And I just want to run it up a little bit so that I don't have everything falling apart on me or breaking off any bolts or, or uh, bending anything. 